This time I'm going to let you see how to make an antenna for my garage door opener. And yes, it's absolutely free. This is the LiftMaster garage door opener which I fitted a week or so ago. And you may have seen the YouTube video that I uploaded off the fitting. It's a good unit and very useful but the only minor problem I've found is that the because of the garage door being metal, the signal which it receives from the little handset bleeper thing will only work from a gate and it really isn't very far from the door so by the time I get round the corner open the door it isn't open in time so I'm going to fit a external antennae to this and improve the reception and the best thing about it it won't cost me a penny. Now these, these are the parts which I'm going to use and they're all bits of stuff that I've had lying around the garage so in my mind they, they haven't really cost me anything. The first thing here is a, a small shelf bracket or a piece of angle iron would do. I've got a small nut and bolt, some cable ties and a length of coax cable and down here I've got a small length of plastic um, it's a piece of an old water pipe but anything kind of rigid would do and I'll let you see how I go about doing this now this is the back of the power unit I've got and just here you can see there is a socket to plug in a, a coax plug and uh, because I've got that in the back of my unit, it's going to make things all easier for me. Now this is the end of the coax cable which I've fed out through an air brick and a garage wall to the outside. And this is the part that's going to really be the aerial itself. And on the side, I've made three marks here. I've made three marks here. There's one, two, and three. Um, the, most, the most critical one is the first one this one here, because when I expose the inner cable, which is the part really in the centre, because of the frequency of the sender, I must have that exactly 250 millimetres long. So from here to the end of the inner must be 250 millimetres. I'll strip these out at the three marks and I'll let you see what they look like. Okay, I've stripped the cables now. This is the center core, which must be exactly 250 millimeters long. So it's 250 from the point to this end here. And then there's the inner sheathing part. Inside that, the, um, between it and the outer, was the copper braided cable. Now I also need that, so I've kept the length of that. There's too much there but I'll be able to cut it later. Now it is important that none of these braiding wires touch the centre core. That's one of the important parts. Now this is the, the shelf bracket which I had earlier and it's going to fit up on the fascia board up on the garage there underneath the room. Right, that's the shelf bracket mounted on the fascia board and the uh, um, piece of plastic I've got to support the, the wire is like this. I've put it on with a, a, a nut and a bolt and a couple of washers because I'm going to wrap the braided end of the coax cable around this, which I'll do now. Uh, that's it finished on the outside, so what I've done here is this is the, the support piece of plastic with the copper wire running 250 mil running up there. The inner braided wire which was within the coax cable is wound round the nut and the bolt which fixes it to the bracket. I've anchored it down with cable ties and I put a couple of cable ties onto the plastic support piece to hold it as well. From there it's just going along the wall and into a near brick in the garage. 
Now just to finish that off, I've put some silicone round the ends of these cables and I've also lined that with insulating tape just to keep some of the, the weather out and make it look a bit more tidy. That's the cable coming along inside the garage then coming down to the unit and plugging into the socket into the back of the power unit. If you remember before my uh, cover was only really from a garden gate and the difficulty there was that while you're coming around the corner your hands are quite full steering the car. So this now allows me to open the door a couple of hundred feet before I reach the entry. Now I'll caution you here it can be dangerous if you've got kids running about a door opening where you can't see it, so, so I'm lucky I don't have that issue. But be careful if you do fit this that no one's liable to be at the door. You can of course go and buy the proper antenna which is about £35, but that's quite a good deal for free. I think it's working just fine. Thanks for watching.